Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Shorty Pants, I think you want to change out of those clothes by now. We no longer need them. And we should also call our friends and tell us Ida and Papalimo are alive and well and here with us. Yeah! Pity we didn't feather in on something even for three goddamn seconds the last time we were here getting changed in the first place. We also have her on the link, Pearl. Seriously! What the fuck is wrong with you all? Like, the like writers, why did you jam yourself into this corner here? Like, you could have just easily had her go off somewhere else and then call her up now and then have her ass teleported here. She can do that, you know. Hi, Thancred. Yeah, maybe you want to tell everybody, like, just blurt it out that, yes, you have to walk everywhere. Man, I am so very angry already in this episode, but I'm just so angry at the fact that how much crap they leave out and how much non-communication has gone between the Scions. You know, if Benfilia was still around, she would not be standing for this kind of crap. Yeah, I'm also angry. For once, I am completely on Yastrola's side here. I mean, assuming Thancred is right with how she's gonna feel, but I have no, I have little reason to believe he's not being honest. Alright, can we at least get some chocobo porters or something? I love it when people expose it out loud in front of everybody. Ooh, ooh, they even drag us all the way here. Wow. Well, that was fast, guys. I think, Red. I don't know, what do you think about this? I'm totally ready for all this. 100%. Bring it on. This isn't right. The Emulger would never leave this place so poorly guarded. Not willingly, no. <laughs> ah, the saviors of Eorzea. Slow as ever. Oh, you mean like the last time where I completely beat your ass? By the Twelve, will you never learn? You know you're right. Mayhap it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen, hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? And frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. But killing the warrior of light, on the other hand, that would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. Are you threatening me, sir? One life for one world. A fair exchange. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Let
Lest you forget, you've more than one opponent. You also forget I came here looking for a fight in the first place. You may have caught me off guard the first damn time, but... Yeah. You weren't exactly who I was probably preparing to fight here. Carbuncle! Defend me! But, you know what? I'm itching for a fight, and you guys are just waiting to get your ass kicked. I sense you will offer more than mere target practice. Unlike your sister. You couldn't even kill her the first time, bitch! Alize! Did... Did I not tell you, Alphano? I am not the girl I once was. You okay? My brother was always the clever one, while my talents lay elsewhere. Oh my god, she's actually gonna use it for once! In the hell? Okay then. As Eorzea's blade of light once stood by my side, now I shall stand at hers and defend this realm with all my might. Let's finish this. Come at me, bro. Why? Just watching that whole debacle, I was like screaming at this whole time of this game. I'm like, what the fuck did I just look at? It just came the fuck out of nowhere. Oh, oh, you want to cover him? Okay, fine. Well, your ass is going to be the first one I kick. So, sorry you had to be this way, but you fuckers got to die now. Sorry. You shall fall soon enough. All right, there's there's Carby. Okay, so we got Carby here. Hooray! There's no escape. Aww, we feel when a little butt hurt already. Wait, what the shit? Okay, fine, 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 fine. If that's how you want it, I'll just kick your ass twice as hard. What do you think about that? Shorty Pants, will you heal me? Too damn lazy to do it myself. Okay, your healing has gotten really shitty as of late. But I'll forgive. I'll forgive. I have skills with my, um, which on my own to heal myself if need be. I'll be fine. Alright, just you and me now, evil Darplander. Oh, for fuck's sake! You guys suck! No more games. Oh, now you wanna be at my ass too? Oh, what? Hey! Hey, 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 that's cheating! That's cheating! You can't home game fucking five of us at the same time! Or it four, ends. I can't count. I can't count no. right now. I call hacks. What? The chains. God, you snake. You would betray us as well. Uh, gee, I wonder. It's not like he has a history of doing this or anything. He that holdeth fast unto his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes, though all the world may call him villain. My path is unchanged, my creed sacrosanct. This I believe with all my heart. 
But say, warrior of darkness, and speak true, what dost thou believe? That rendering up the souls of thy world in service to the rejoining will grant it salvation? Nay. By the Twelve! Oriange! Damn, son, you got caught! Mine apologies, Master Alfino. That the brightest light might shine, duty did compel me to walk in darkest shade. You sweet fool. I was almost willing to believe you had turned against us. I expect a full explanation when this is over. For now, may I assume you have turned your cloak for the last time? Yeah, she ain't not too pleased with you right now, son. Thou mayest, my lady. By thy leave. Even odds, then. No matter. We'll crush the lot of you in one fell swoop! Understood. Hearken to me. We only have one chance. Channel your ether into my blade that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. And we just shoot him! I cannot do it alone, but together, together we can defeat them! I mean, I have a badass obsidian carbonic on, on my side. Why don't I just chew his face off? I mean, it worked for a goddamn primal. Make ready, they come. So, if they're gonna turn on the damn god mode, then we might as well turn on the, the damn god mode too. And again, like throughout this whole like thing, when I very first did this, I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I like what I'm looking at, but where the hell did this all come from? Uh, yeah, a little busy here. Get this asshole off me first. But one thing that really always bothered me is if Oriange has been quote-unquote practically a member I'm getting over there a member of the family how does Alphano not recognize him it, has he like always fucking worn those goggles i mean to me it's somewhat obvious that he recognizes that it's uriange because this is the first time uriange as this fake warrior of darkness here has actually spoken so the first time when we met him at zelfata obviously he would not have recognized the voice you know he totally didn't even hear in the damn first place but you would think at some point in there in his life, he would have seen him without his crappy goggles on? Or something? Anything? Or, like... Obviously, the player hasn't seen him without his goggles, but if he's at, as that close to the family as he, as he claims... Which, I have no reason to doubt, but... Yeah, I just find that kind of weird. We well, damn just die already. Okay, you guys need to heal me. Yeah, I'm trying to get over there. No, no, trying to get over there. Sorry, didn't mean to place the fire right on you. So, why do I keep doing that? I keep turning it off and on because I'm so used to having a drop cleric stance to like heal tanks and everything. Oh, fuck you, no. No, 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 bitch. Bitch. You know what? I apologize because did I not promise that you were going to be the first to die? I have not kept my word. I am sorry. But now you have to die. Good night. Yeah, good job doing that. You know, because I have magic power echo too. I can totally see your AoE lines. Did we forget about this part? Yeah. 
same powers as you, all that stuff. Asshole, I am the friend of the motherfucking daddy god of dragons. Alright, can you beat that? Can you? Can you? No, I don't think so. I have defeated the shade of Bahamut itself after 5,000 years. Oh, what the fuck? Game, are you serial right now? I'm in the middle of giving a dramatic speech of all my fantastical accomplishments that I do not believe the Warriors of Darkness, formerly Warriors of Light, can- okay, you got him, okay. Cannot even hope to achieve! And you fucking interrupt me, you dickhead. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Later, fuckers! You know, assholes, we tried to make friends with you at first, and you weren't having anything of it. You know, maybe if everything you speak is true, maybe we could have done something to help you. Or, or find another way. But nope, nope, you decided to have to be aggressive to us, so Alize, nope. are you hurt? Dude, you got shot in the shoulder yesterday. A touch dizzy, but otherwise fine. Thank you. And there you have it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. Well, I think we established they, they sort of can't. <sighs> we are far from finished. Well, look who's on the ground and look who's not. Or have you never considered how we came to this world? Crystals? You mean... like the Asians? Just so. As the Asians flee unto the rift twixt plains with crystals of darkness, so did these warriors come hither with crystals of light. Well, I have six of these things! And I never could do anything like this before! <sighs> Eloquent, as always. I, like the Asians, we too are beyond death. You cannot defeat that which is eternal. Oh, oh, you know, I may not have the mechanism on me right now, but um, I already kind of killed two of them. Did Olympus not tell you? Wait! Such methods as the Asians employ require the renunciation of the flesh. You... You would have had to... Uh-oh, uh-oh! Did we strike a nerve? At long last, you see. To save our world, we gave our lives. We were just adventurers trying to make our way. And our job here, a favor there, we never aspired to be warriors of light. But word of our deeds spread, and soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders, and bid us fight for all that was good and right. We fought, and we fought, and we fought. Until there was no one left to fight. We won! And now our world is being erased from existence. Oh, don't get all fucking teary-eyed on me now. That doesn't make up for half the shit you guys have done to us. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us, and still... 
still it came to this. Okay, it's a, I, I'm sorry. Not not that I'm I'm completely unsympathetic to to his to his justified anger here or anything, but it's a little too late to be slathering on this crap on me. You of all people should understand. We cannot. We will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction, and now we must save it. No, I don't understand, because I never resorted to fucking murder, because I was desperate. <clears throat> I've died before, Arbut. I'm not afraid to die again. Yeah, I killed you guys like three times in the battle right here. I know that's not what they're talking about, but... <laughs> No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind. So what the hell are you guys going to do now? You guys just gonna run the hell away with your tail between your legs? What? To have known the depth of sorrow and embraced the highest sacrifice. Nonetheless, Master Louis Soi, guide my hand, I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. Speak English for once. Quickly! Thou must needs invoke the power of thy crystal! Uh, okay, I have six of them now. Well, obviously I'm gonna pull out the one that they don't have amongst them, but... But I find it kind of interesting that they don't really mention, like, Oh, we never set out to be heroes or anything. And while we kind of technically didn't either, it would... It would have been kind of important to mention in there that probably one of the reasons you kept doing it is because you're one of Heidelin's chosen. That's how you have the echo. That's how you got you have these crystals of light. You didn't just become the saviors of the universe because you were just random ordinary people. You're ordinary people who have given an extraordinary gift that you used. Let's not gloss over this. Let's what actually expand this upon this. Maybe you maybe you guys know something more about the Echo that I don't. This would have been like the perfect opportunity Such to explain this kind pain. of thing. Such sorrow. Oh my dear children. It can't be. Mother Heidelin, hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, and from two worlds do we offer a bounty of light. Ariadne, what the fuck are you talking about? In this desperate hour, we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. Your cries go not unheard. Nor your sacrifices unnoticed. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save. Who I can yet save. It's almost like such a creed is familiar to us. Hi, Minfilia. Minfilia. Blessed children of the first, the light of your world hath grown blinding in its radiance, but it is not yet absolute. I will hie me to your world and there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it, as darkness once did drown another. 
Now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer. Okay, yeah, this is like the one moment where I'm on their side where they cry out like, seriously, yeah, what the fuck, Heidel, and where were you before? As the Asians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Heidelin. But for the boon you have granted her, she has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. Your suffering, your sacrifice, your supplications, she has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Thank you, Uriange, for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. And, uh, b by the way, by the way, your friend Kryle is, is okay and she's here on Eorzea. It, it might comfort you to know that. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Hydaelyn had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace, granting you strength long sought. And in treating with the Asians, I learnt of a star like unto our own. A doomed world of fallen heroes, in whom I glimpsed ourselves. The first. Full long did I search for a means to save this world, concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set light against dark. Yet I knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice. For the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither, there to remain, mayhap forever. You orchestrated all of this, not to save her, but to send her away. <laughs> oh, c calm down, calm down. I am glad for once to see him actually legit freaking out, though. One life for one world. Such was the bargain, and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal? And at her bidding, borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land? Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. You would go alone then? My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf, as would my father be. Your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me, and our gifts to them. Forming a bond which transcends time and space. Okay. All right, all right, you're, you're making me a little bit dizzy here. Can you put your feet on the ground, please? Or whatever you call this thing that resembles ground for the rest of us. Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. Make me proud. Oh, good. You finally realized to thank Red. She's a woman grown. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side. Watched as you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Thus do I entrust to you, Tupsimati. I pray you, keep to the path that you may never have need of it. Um, okay.
So what do you five have to say for yourselves? It would seem the power of our crystals is all but spent. Perhaps if there is naught else to be done. I can run you all straight to hell for the shit you put me through. Hear me, servants of Hydaelyn. If you would have us place our trust in you, then I would ask a favor. Take us with you. Take us home. Can't you go there yourselves? Like, I thought the whole point of you, like, killing yourselves and all was, yeah, you were able to, like, transport the dimensions via the crystals of light, like the Essians do with the crystals of darkness. But who am I to argue in metaphysics? We were blind to the truth once, so I tell you this. As one fool to another. Like, dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. Yeah, and you guys chose rather poorly. We made our choice and you see what came of it, so please. Forge a different path. Seize a better fate. is a strange feeling. So many times have I watched you depart, my heart filled with worry. And ever did you return to me in triumph. Someday, when I have found a way to free this star from her sorrow, I promise you I shall repay the favor. So where's everyone else? Where are you guys getting all this booze from constantly? <laughs> I swear half of the people who live in the Rising Stones must be full on alcoholics by now. Thank you, Lenny. For everything. Ah, oh, phew, back on solid ground at last. Well, that was quite a day. So, yeah, I'm not really terribly fond of the Warriors of Darkness storyline. And I can't help but notice, yeah, while I completely understand why they were so... what drove them to, to such desperate lengths, yeah, I can't help but notice they never apologized for trying to kill me. Yeah. Okay, recognizing you made a mistake. Okay, you wanted us to not make the same mistake you did. Okay, fine. Sorry for trying to kill you. Was that so damn hard to tell me? All right. And the whole thing. Oh, they they had they did everything right, and you know they had to kill themselves to to come here and, and try to save their world and everything like that. I get that they were desperate. But not once do they show any sort of remorse or, or any sort of... What's the word I'm looking for? Or like any sort of questions, moral questions about their own actions. Yeah, they're desperate. But they didn't at any point until the very end appear to me as if they had any, 
any sort of regrets or questions about what they were doing, give me a moral gray gray area or something. Give, even give me a crappy ends justifying the means stuff. Just give me anything that makes me believe that they're reluctant to do this, but they feel they must. And you don't get any of that. So I don't see them as anything as just a bunch of selfish bastards. Just, just, just to put it bluntly. Although, like I said, I, I will give them credit for... And I did complain about this during the Anti-Tower and all that debacle. That Heidelin hasn't exactly been forthcoming with how we're actually supposed to do her goddamn bidding. So it was nice and refreshing for somebody to even if it was in a different manner, call her on her shit. I have to say, that was the one good thing I liked about that. Make her grow up. I, I don't think it's me who you need to apologize to. No, you can perfectly speak about what the hell happened. You're probably more confused as anybody what the hell is going on. No, 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 no. Fuck those guys. Fuck those guys. I know you're like the master of friendship and all, but fuck those guys. <sighs> so we're almost done with this patch, guys. Now, now here's the question. I don't think this is any, this is ever answered. Did the Amalja actually summon Ifrit and we we totally just, just missed the killing and get there shortly after? I'm guessing by the Ring of Fire that probably, yeah. But, do we ever question this? Like, how do we know that they're just not killing the Amalja and threatening, Summon your god right now, you bastards, or anything like that? Shouldn't we actually make sure that they don't still have the crystals? Because, um, that would be really kind of shitty if we went through all that. Only now the Amal just summoned your friend anyway. I mean, I know that's not really important, but it's just a funny thought I had. So thank you for watching, my friends. And we have a lot to explain to Eden Papalimo. So I will see you then.